Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. This week we're revisiting plants again to talk about a little rosette plant that I think is super easy although extremely slow growing and that's Cryptocorin parva. Uh, it is a teeny tiny little plant. It only gets about maybe two inches on average. I think the largest I've ever seen it is four inches and that was in the immersed form. And this is a plant that you can grow out immersed. Now I say it's very easy and I say it's very slow and I am not exaggerating. I put it in my little um, crystal red tank and it took almost 18 months to fully carpet. Now I'm not using any CO2 or fertilization so that's part of it but this plant is a test of patience, but if you have the patience, it really makes a beautiful carpet and is appropriate for even the smallest aquariums because of its scale. So let's take a look and I'll tell you more about it. One of the things I like best about Crypt Parva is that it's really very versatile as far as your water parameters go. It can take temperatures all the way down to 68 and up to 84 degrees and also very soft to all the way to very hard water. So it does make it extremely, extremely versatile. As I mentioned, it's a rosette plant, and that means that there's sort of a circular arrangement of the leaves with all the leaves of a similar height. Um, this, this plant, as I mentioned, is a test of patience. It grows so slow, but you can see it's really nice and petite, and if you let it mature, it forms an extremely dense carpet that will crawl across your entire aquarium in time. Now, crypts are known to do what's called crypt melt, which is when you plant them, you lose all the leaves. I use tissue culture in this aquarium, and I did not have any of that. It's sort of thought that crypt melt is a response to how they grow in the wild. Now, these grow on stream banks in Sri Lanka, where if there's a dry time, They'll lose all their leaves and retain all the nutrients into that rosette or into the roots and the, the base of the plant. And then when conditions are favorable, they grow back. So it's thought that crypt melt might be related to that. At least that's what I learned at the AGA. Um, this is a plant that does benefit from iron and potassium. I prefer to use an enriched substrate. In this aquarium, it is Brightwell substrate and ADA aqua soil and I find that they do really really well as I mentioned while they don't require CO2 that can help a little bit with how fast they grow though no matter what you do this plant is going to be slow growing however I think the color and the shape of the leaf is really really beautiful and it's extremely easy and well suited for aquariums of all size all in all, I think if you're looking for a, um, a beginner type carpeting plant and you have a lot of patience, this is definitely the one for you. As you can see in this aquarium, it's really quite lovely. As always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. I really enjoy hearing from you guys in the comments below and I try to answer as many as I can. So let me know below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions.